Yeah. Um, Trip, we got to get into some boxing though. We got into some basketball. We got into some football. There's another person, another young athlete who's trying to rehabilitate their image as well. So he's not brushing his hair in the ring or having his girls come in the ring and brush his hair after the fight? Has he matured a little bit? I, I, I'm hoping he has matured. I don't know, though, because I feel like we just spoke about him a couple of weeks and some more BS. It's Listen, <laughs> it's A.B., not Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown has found a way to get himself right. We got not that A.B. A.B. stuff. No, you can't that. name yourself A.B. no more. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. care what your name is. No right. more A.B.'s. We, we've got to address you by your government name. Yes. Adrian Broner, who at one time called himself about billions, but was recently in a courtroom and said, I got $12 in my checking account. It was about nickels at that point. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, he came he just back yesterday. $13 to $13 million. Yeah. I said that. <laughs> Listen, he, he, he made his, his, uh, his return to the ring. He had been out of action for about two years. He hadn't won a fight in four years. Jesus. It was it was probably one of the most unimpressive unanimous decisions you'll ever see. But AB is back. Are you excited? No, not excited at all, to be honest. With you. <laughs> I, listen, that was a quick no. That was a very yeah, quick no. I'm listen, kudos, you got the win, but it's just so much going on with AB. One, and just two, you gotta really prove to me. I'm all for the redeem story, you getting back to where you were, but you gotta show me. I've seen We've we literally I feel like it was maybe a month or so ago we were talking about some him lying in court about the money was what about a, was about a month ago right so yeah, it, I, it was uh about a month and a half ago it was after the Danny Garcia Errol Spence fight yeah so and then you know you win this fight which is great but the the way you're speaking after the fight I, I went from thirteen dollars to thirteen million now I feel like now I feel like you haven't learned anything. So you got to show and prove in this situation because it's him. If it was another person, it'd be different. But because it's Adrian Broner and we're used to the shenanigans that, that he's been doing the past couple of years, you got to show and prove. I need to see more than this. I need to see some consistency because, again, wasted talent. This was a guy who was one of the top guys in boxing, had, had, had potential to be way better and way farther in his career than he is right now. But... You let the distractions of the outside world get to you, and this is where we're at. So, again, show and prove. I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm not saying it can't change, but you got to show me. 1,000%. Listen, young listeners, if you didn't learn anything else today, don't be wasted talent, right? Uh, and I love making comparisons. At one point, for those of you that may not remember how good Adrian Broner was about six to eight years ago, Adrian Broner was Javante Davis. Yeah. He was the young lion who was supposed to take over the throne from Floyd Mayweather. Yes. Right? Yes. He was the guy in line to be the next great welterweight champion. Absolutely. And as you said, the outside distractions, he wanted to do rap albums. He got into a fight at a dice game. He was getting, this is all facts. He got into a fight in, you know, outside of a club. Then the fight in the club leads to him being sued by a woman. And that's why he was in court recently because he still has not paid that woman. Yeah. And then he tried to tell the judge, I only got like $12 to my name. I ain't got nothing. That was my friend's money. I was flashing on IG. FYI, I stopped flashing money on IG. You think? <laughs> right. I think only thing I, listen, Adrian, I, I hope you've matured enough to realize, look, just stay in the ring. You, you can make some decent money if all you do is just fight and stay out of trouble. Yeah. And Again, for a guy that wasn't fighting on pay-per-view to make $13 million, you made a, a good piece of change for a guy who's not even one of the top, he's not even one of the top seven welterweights in the world. Yeah. He might but have he got a name. At this point. But yeah, he does have a name. But I, I do think the moral to the story is, children, you don't want to be AB or WT. Wasted right. talent. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is WT, okay? Don't but, waste the talent. Exactly. But I, I hope he does well, man. Smush Parker here, formerly up to Los Angeles Lakers. And you are now tuned into Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Live the camp. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real 